black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, back with another high protein, high fat, carb conscious, caloric crave is what we'll call it today. But really, the Parmesan crusted bacon wraps, essentially, with my little mustard mayo horseradish sauce. And I know what you guys are thinking already. I know, you're thinking, those aren't saucy enough. You know I came equipped. I always come ready to spoon some on, okay? We know this. Anyways, these uh, I think are gonna be pretty banger. Uh, just for, for, you know, viewership's sake, I think I'm just gonna bring them down a level, but we always need a little bit of height for the thumbnail. But I'm gonna start with this one right here. 
just a light little toast, a perfect little toasty toasty. And the reason why that is because every time I've ever made like toasted wraps, uh, people are always like, ew, soggy lettuce. And I'm like, well, I want it toasted. And there's like, I tried to find a happy medium on this one. Let me just say that. It's not like super toasty or soggy. I think I hit the perfect, uh, hit it perfect on the head to be honest with you. But anyways, what am I, 20, 24 hours fasted? And I'm definitely ready for this. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, of course, everything tastes good when you're depriving yourself of food for these amounts of times. But this, I knew it was gonna be amazing. Mm. That crispy parm. I do have to tell you guys this. Um, I know that the uh, timer said 25 minutes. I pulled them out at like 13, 14. Do not put them in for 25. You'll, you'll come out burnt. Of course, we got our perfect eight minute bacon in there. And that's all good. I also lose big time points for uniformity. <laughs> One is like deformity, this one, the more wide one. The other one was more long and tubular. Tubular, brat. Either way, still tastes good. Bye for you. We achieved the perfect uh, crispy to hot lettuce ratio. And that horseradish, giving it a zing. Doing its thing. Perfect. Mm. I think a wrap might be one of my favorite. Forms of a handheld treat, you know? So I took my sister's dog for a walk today, right? <laughs> and a uh, couple adventures on the way, like,
it's crazy how dogs behind other fences have like dog dar from like half a block away they can already smell another dog coming so they're just losing their uh losing their collars flipping out <laughs> get to the fence they had like the doggy square cut out and there's like this other beefy golden lab just shoves its face like right through the square just trying to star some shit you know what i mean and then that one had its homie the sidekick a german shepherd and this german shepherd's just like like i could see just it's like his eyes and its ears <laughs> over the fence It's like y'all need to chill. Relax. It always begs the question. What would happen? If somehow they like boinged over the fence, like, <clears throat> do they have attitude because they know they're behind a fence? And once they get over the fence, maybe they'll be more chill. Or am I going to have to? Sacrifice my body in hopes to body slam a German Shepherd. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, dogs meeting gives me anxiety. If I was a dog owner, myself personally, I think I would try to, like, not do that too much. I know it's probably good to socialize them, but at the same time, it's like, it always just seems so risky. Because they always do the... And you could tell they're like, do I fucking hate you? Or do I like, is it going to be like, or is it just like, oh. it seems 50, 50. However, against my better judgment, we were approaching the park and there was like an elderly lady with like a mini, looks like a little oh, shit Tzu or something like that. And, you know, they're starting to, like, from distance, they're, like, looking at it, and, you know, they're going to want to have a meeting. And I'm like, okay, in my head, I know. I'm like, little dogs are always the most yappiest little bitches. And, um, of course, the lady's like, oh, she's friendly. I'm like, so is she. She's just got a big mouth on her. They came up into each other's grills. I knew it was going to go back. The little dog was just losing it. My sister's dog is uh, really like, like she's got a big bark, but she's also super skittish once the other dog domineers her. She presents to live that life. But does not live that life, in fact. Mm. 
so they had a little standoff. We agreed to disagree on the vibes. We went our separate ways. And then I forgot to bring a poo bag. So the whole time we were walking, that was causing me anxiety. I'm like, please don't drop a plop. I'll tell you. See this guy? See? He came out victorious. No shits were had. And no shits were given on this day. Blessed is he. So yeah, one of my adventures today, amongst others, that one being the most uh, interesting. Taking my sister's dog for a walk. I'm really living the life out here. What I say? Life is what you make it. And it was a fun time. <laughs> mm. Just like this was. Perfect meal. Not too hot, not too cold. Not too much, not too little. We find the golden balance. All right. Till next one, you know what to do. We gotta eat good, we gotta live well. We gotta stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah.